I just want to set the record straight here. All right, I've had enough of this bickering back and forth between Catholics and secular people. I mean, guys, have you even read the Bible? This is an important message for the gay. But it's so important, even if you're not gay or near gay, you need to listen up as well. But those of you who are quick to throw out hateful comments, take a little time to reflect. For as it says in Matthew 7, 1, judge not that you be judged. You. Let's get to talking about this thing with gay people. It's profoundly disturbing to me. Now, as it says in the Bible, God hates gay people and they're an abomination. As in Leviticus 18.22, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind because it is an abomination. The Bible tells us to obey the word of God, just like in John 14.15, if you love me, you will obey what I command. It's very important, so important in fact, that in no less than 25 places, God says we must do as he decrees. If we love him, if we want to be saved, we are true Christians. So being gay is an abomination. Just like eating shellfish. Or pork. Oh yeah, and that I love Jesus shirt, cotton rayon blend. Yeah, you'll be going to hell because it's made of a blend of two different materials. 100% cotton. 100%. Unfortunately, those who identify as women are real fashion victims. You're wearing that? Oh no, 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 no. Your fashion is an abomination. How dare you wear pants in God's presence? Did you forget Deuteronomy 22.5? How about those of you ladies wearing a necklace or engagement ring, perhaps? You're going to hell. Design a brand name clothes. Hell. Oh, you braided your hair to look cute. Yeah, you're going to hell. This guy agrees with God so much that he tattooed that thing about gays on his arm. Too bad that he's going to hell. Yeah, along with all of you men and women with pierced ears, navels, scrotal areas, the Lord says no. I mean, if you have a daughter, you'd want her to obey all these things so you can get a good price when you sell her into slavery. And those of you women that might want to say something about this, if you don't want to go to hell, just keep quiet. I mean, don't talk when the men are talking, okay? My boss insists on coming in on Sundays to work. It's mentioned three times in the Bible, so it's really important. Now, I don't know if I should kill him or wait for the management to do it. Although in all of this, there's one thing we can probably agree on, right? Thou shall not kill. This is an absolute, a commandment that can never be broken. Well, except for that thing with my boss, and for murderers, or if you're a witch, or if you're worshiping another god, or for blasphemy, and that one you die by stoning, ouch. Or if you steal slaves, like try to get that daughter back you sold. I knew I should have waited till the market went up. Or if you have sex with a family member, like your wife's mom, or with an animal. Or if you get divorced and or remarry, or you marry a divorced woman, because that counts as adultery, punishable by death. Or if your kid is not listening to you, just go ahead and kill him or her too. Or if you rape someone, unless you pay a fine and marry her, then it's all cool. Or if you are raped and don't yell loudly enough. Or if you're not a virgin when you get married. Sorry about that, rape victims. Or if God just tells you to kill, go ahead and kill everyone, including all the animals. Other than those few exceptions and the 20 million people God killed himself, don't kill. It's wrong, just like being gay. All right. Let's stop this already. Seriously, folks, in my study of religion, I found a message of love, tolerance, and equality for everyone. I have what you could say a radical idea. Let's follow the core message of Christianity as well as countless other religions and belief systems. Let's be accepting of all, as we are all created equal. It's in the US Constitution. It's in Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of the UN. It's in the Bible. Whatever your beliefs, they are your beliefs. Don't use them as an excuse to spread hate, intolerance, or denigrate others. Just because you're on a diet, don't persecute me for eating cake. Deep fried cake. In everything we do, let's strive to spread understanding, tolerance, love, and inclusion. Your beliefs don't make you a better person. Your actions do. And uh, we're done, right? Okay. Oh, right. This way.